As Tudor said, never go back to the result, go back to the source. And when you're experiencing a real artist, you are experiencing the source. And you are experiencing their particular energy and their particular journey and their particular deep seeking of what can never truly be perfected. But it's in that seeking and in that yearning and in that deep desire to find that perfection, that's what we're moved by. Everything is a challenge. You, you always try to make everything perfect. You're trying to grow, you're trying to develop, you're trying to get better, if not technically, then artistically. You're always trying to strive somewhere. And if you want, you can take this as a me metaphor to, for the drive to continue and to grow and to, you know, to get better. one shot, you're on the stage and you can never repeat it, that's all you get. In order to be a dancer, which means you need to be a performer and you need to be a perfectionist, there are always these very predictable mix of humility and hubris, you know? Uh, they've got to have such confidence to get out there and believe they can do this, but at the same point, um, there's an insecurity that you know, the bar is so high, that perfection level is so high, the ideal thing is so unattainable. Yet, you know, having obtained even a portion of it is something to be enormously proud of. We are expressing our deep humanity. You know, Nereya said perfection is dead. We keep striving for perfection. Why did I get into this art form? Because everything was beautiful. Even when you were dying, you were pointing your feet. You still look beautiful. But the, the, the inability to ever reach that perfection is what, you know, keeps us driving and driving and driving. And yet, as human beings, makes us all so deeply beautiful.